since Detective Hobbs worked in the uh, Major Offenders Bureau, or MOB as it's called for short, he helped bring the worst of the worst to justice. ABC 15's Pete Serrano spoke with some members of that team today, and Pete, aside from friends and family, these people really knew him the best. They sure did. A very tight knit group we're talking about, guys. And they called him a leader, a hard worker, a family man. Nothing but great things to say about Detective Hobbs. And really, in their words, you couldn't ask for a better officer. I think he embodied everything it is to be a police officer and what that badge stands for. Members of the Major Offenders Unit choking up, remembering the life of Detective John Hobbs. And, um, Uh, and he upheld that until, until the day he died. They described him as a man who treated every day like it was his first day on the job. He'd come to work an hour early every day um, so that he can get his workout in, so that he could be ready for shift. And as evidenced by his heroic act on Monday, an officer who would do whatever it takes to protect his fellow citizens. But there is no way that man was going to stand by and let that knucklehead run into a building and take somebody hostage or shoot somebody else. So what he did is he stood there and he died fighting. And as you can imagine, it's a very tough time for this unit as they grieve over the loss of Detective Hobbs. But one of the officers said if Detective Hobbs was here, he would tell them to get back to work protecting folks around the valley. And that's what they plan on doing. Sounds like that's the kind of guy he was. Thanks, Pete. Detective Hobbs' wife released this statement today, saying in part, please keep our children in your prayers as they struggle forward without their hero here on Earth. Being a dad was John's proudest title and a responsibility he never took lightly. We miss him greatly.